In the last video posted on this channel, I talked about why using agents to apply for master's programs abroad is a really bad idea, and I also said this. Also, in the next video, I will give a comprehensive step-by-step -step plan that you can immediately start to implement and in 6 to 12 months time, you can be studying in Germany without requiring the help of an agent. And because I am a man of my word, today's video will cover exactly that. Let's get started. So, if you're serious about coming to study in Germany, here are the steps you need to take in order to begin this process. Step number one, which is often overlooked but it can't prevent you from even being allowed to leave your country to go and study abroad, and that is applying for and obtaining a valid passport. Yes, you heard me. You cannot travel anywhere outside your home nation, especially to other continents, without a valid passport. In a lot of countries, it takes weeks and even months to apply for a passport, so make sure you have it ready before sending any applications to universities, as most of the time, universities do ask for a copy of your passport as part of the application documents. Also, if your master's program is for two years, kindly make sure your passport will not expire before the two-year period ends. Next, you need to take time to think about and identify what program you want to study. Basically, you need to ask yourself what are you passionate about or what motivates you. It could be, for example, engineering, business, marketing, or even law. But the important thing is that you need to know what you want from the beginning before moving on to step number three, which is identifying at least three universities that offer the master's program that you desire. Ah, oh, man. It's done it again. It's reset itself. This is like the fifth time today. What's wrong with this thing? Okay, I think that's good enough. Um. Oh, hey there. Didn't realize that you've stuck around this far into the video. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this particular video. And if you found today's content to be super useful, all I ask you to do is to hit the like button. And if this is the first time you're seeing me, a sub to the channel would be highly appreciated. Anyway, back to today's video. Once you have an idea of what program you want to do, you need to figure out where you're going to do it at. Lucky for you, I have made a video on this YouTube channel explaining exactly how to find out whether your desired master's program is being taught in a university in Germany. In the video, I used environmental engineering as an example, but you can replicate the exact same steps in the video with whichever master's program you want to do. So after you're done watching this video, please take time and go and watch this one. Step number four is the application fees. Once you settle on one or a maximum of two master's programs, you need to start the application process. This video right here explains the seven key documents you must have in order to apply to any master's program in Germany. I've also gone ahead and made more videos explaining how to create some of the seven documents, such as your CV and your letter of motivation. One more important thing to note is that application to German universities tend to be very competitive. So the earlier you apply, the higher the chances of getting admission. If, for example, the application period is from the 1st of January, please make sure you send your application latest by the end of January. That way you still have enough time to complete the next steps in this video 
and be able to arrive in Germany and start your master's program on time. The next step is to simply wait. But you're not just idly waiting. You need to use the three to four month waiting period to learn the German language. As I have said many times on this platform, you need to learn German before coming to Germany, even if you're studying in English. Learning the basics of the German language makes adapting to life in Germany way easier. Assuming you get admission to a German university, step number six is quite important. You need to first of all accept the offer and immediately start the visa application process. This time round, I'll actually suggest for you to go and watch two different videos on this YouTube channel that I made concerning the German student visa application process. The first one talks about the German student visa application requirements and in case you need to go for an interview, this video right here talks about the 16 most asked questions during the German student visa interview along with their adequate answers. And in case you need more information about the proof of finance part, I do have videos that explain all you need to know about opening a blocked account or sponsorship by a resident living in Germany. Keep in mind that in order to apply for a visa to study in Germany, you need to book an appointment at the German embassy. Usually, this has a waiting period of anywhere between 1 to 18 months, depending on the country you're from. So technically, this should have been step number two on the list. But anyway, the point is, you can email the closest embassy to you and ask how long you will have to wait in order to get an appointment. Once you receive your student visa, it's time to book your ticket, pack your bags, and mentally start to prepare yourself for your new journey of living, studying, and eventually working in Germany. As you can see, most of the steps mentioned above are pretty simple and straightforward to implement, all you have to do is watch a couple of 8 to 15 minute videos and you can easily find yourself studying in Germany. In case anything I have mentioned didn't make sense, feel free to ask in the comment section down below or you can send me a DM on Instagram. I usually try to respond to all the messages I receive. And there you have it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more insightful content. If you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, let me know in the comment section down below and until next time, 